folks this is billy from real time fishing real time custom rods and i was kicking around some ideas to try to get a video out and i thought you know there's a lot of folks just starting out fishing they know nothing about how to even cast so i'm gonna do a real quick video and explain a, a casting or i'm sorry this is a spin a spinning reel and how that works first the the parts of it of course this is the bail this is the drag this is how you adjust the drag you adjust that to uh according to what kind of fish you're fishing with this is the of course the handle this is how it attaches to the rod this all spins out spins back in i'm not going to take it off right now i've got this this is a typical like i said inshore trout fishing rod i've got it set up with um, a 10 pound braid and I've got a 20 pound, I'm sorry, a 14 pound, probably a three pound fluorocarbon leader on it. The leader is important because that's virtually invisible under the water, whereas the braid is not. So you put about a two to three foot, it's what I like, leader on it. That way the fish can't see that line as much. And to cast it, you want to twirl this around and get it right get this top of your line in the 12 o'clock position and put your finger your trigger finger just like that open the bell by hand then you want to go back and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my right i'm left-handed i'm going to put my right hand under here and i'm going to go back at about the 11 o'clock position and i'm just going to throw that out there you always look where you're casting. Of course, you bring it back in. I think, I don't know if I, I'll show you that one more time because I'm not sure I mentioned how to close the bale. The one problem you have with braid, and you'll hear it a lot if you listen to any YouTube videos, is wind knots. So again, I'm gonna start over. 12 o'clock position, your trigger finger, you open this by hand. Got a straight line there. You go back, you don't go, I've seen a lot of people go way on back and bend over, you don't need to do that. You wanna go back, you wanna look at your target, where you're throwing, you want to look. You want to go back in a nice steady cast. Do it back by hand, keep a little tension to get it going, then bring it in. It's as simple as that. It may take some practice, I would practice, this is a fairly light bait. I would, I would probably cat, uh, practice with something maybe a half ounce or, or even three quarter. That gives you a little bit better um, distance on all that and keeps the, the line tighter as you cast it. That's about it. This is, a, as far as the rod goes itself, this is a seven foot rod. It's a medium heavy, I'm sorry, a medium light fast. Of course, it's my custom rod I'm making myself. And I've got, uh, I think, 10 guides on this. That gets that line going out nice and straight. Because on a spinning rod, you've got to get the line from going in a circular position, naturally to a straight position. And you've got to do that in about, oh, six, five and a half or six feet from here to there. So I'm going to do it one more time for you, show you what I got. I wouldn't worry too much about distance to getting started out. Go back, let it go. Simple as that. Do it by hand. Always check your reel before you start reeling it in. Make sure something hasn't looped over here. Sometimes that line will loop over and that's a definitely a wind knock if that happens. And that's about it, folks. If you got any questions, leave me a comment. Leave me something down there. Like and like this uh this video, subscribe if you hadn't already. We've got a lot of neat stuff on our channel about rod building and about mainly speckled trout fishing and or inshore fishing. And uh, leave me a comment. I answer all my comments. It doesn't cost anything to be a, to subscribe to the channel. It helps get my videos out to YouTube and maybe it'll help somebody. Thanks for watching. Y'all stay tuned for the next one. Talk to you.